In recent years, the presence of STEM in schools has grown at a fast rate. More and more students are getting involved both in the classroom and outside of it in STEM-related extracurriculars such as robotics. The Y Fighters, a young competitive robotics team from Pontiac, Illinois, is showing exactly why robotics is the perfect avenue to introduce STEM to the younger generation. I really love doing robotics. Um, I would much rather do this over school. Isaac Yedinak originally didn't think much of robotics, but with his second year on the Y Fighters complete, he's grateful that he took the opportunity to get involved. I've always, I've grown up doing Lego um, and little robotics kits. I first thought, oh, it's probably the small scale thing. But when I really got into it, you know, when we went to competitions, it was huge. And it was, you know, really cool to talk to people who liked the same things I did. I would say if you want a career in science, technology, engineering, mathematics, getting engaged in high school robotics is the way to go. I really want to go into architecture field. And I think robotics has helped me learn problem solving and engineering design type of skills that have really helped me found or helped me find that career option that I think I'm going to enjoy in the future. However, even if you aren't already experienced in STEM, the Y Fighters still offer plenty of valuable opportunities. Even if you don't really know a lot about robots, you learn as you go. You don't have to just do the building part. But you also learn marketing and social media and resource development, fundraising. So it isn't just one area that you're learning. It, is, it encompasses everything that you will be doing in life. In the future, the Y Fighters hope to continue to grow their own team, while also inspiring other schools across the country to make an investment in their students by providing them an opportunity to get involved in robotics. Reporting from Abraham High School, this is Saho Mithil for TV16 News.